here's your host of Living the Country Life, Betsy Freeze. Looking for ways to beautify your acreage? To give us a few ideas today, we have Mike Gedler. Mike, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. The front of your house looks gorgeous. Thank you. Very Done a much. lot of work on this. Can you tell me first about this retaining wall? Uh, yes, I can. That is a rock wood. It's a six inch block. It uh, has a beveled face with a four inch cap, and it's basically used to uh, eliminate hillsides and uh, keep your dirt from from flowing away from your homes. And it looks like it gives you a place where you can make some nice plantings. What else have you done to the front of your house? Uh, we've, we have. We've done a lot with the plants. We've, we try to mix as much colors as we can. Uh, we've got the mums for fall. It's a, it's a great fall flower. The rest of the plants are pretty much all spring related and summer related. Um, but uh, we have some four inch timbers here in the front that we got going around skirting uh, all the plants. Uh, they, they give it that natural look, that, that rustic kind of look, which is what both my wife and I enjoy. I like the way everything seems to blend into the landscape very well. Are there other materials that you use when you landscape? Uh, yes, there's, there's all kinds of different materials that you can use to landscape. Um, the one, our favorites and the ones we try to use most generally out here are, are the ones that are more natural looking. Right, uh, to keep local things, to the area. Exactly. You want to try to keep the land looking uh, as close to original or native, however you want to say it, as close to that as you possibly can. Can you show me some examples of those? Yes, I can. All right. Mike, tell me what we have here. Uh, what we have here, this is called a natural flagstone. As you can see, it's, a, it's, it's cut into smaller pieces. It's more manageable. Uh, they use this uh, mainly for uh, walkways and patios, different things like that. Great. Over here? Uh, over here we have, uh, this is a blush flagstone. Uh, that comes from out west. As you can see, it's uh, larger pieces. You can use it uh, to make larger patios or the same way. You can use it as a walkway also. All right. And this looks like the same thing, only maybe a little darker. Yes, this is called bluestone, and this is uh, actually from the east coast. Uh, it's, it's mainly used for the same thing that all the flagstones uh, is used for, and that's trails and, and patios. All right. This looks a little different. Yeah, I like this stuff. Um, this is from Colorado, and uh, this is mainly used for edging. Uh, right. As you can see, it's I mean it's really rustic looking. It's something that that I would I would definitely use around yeah, my house. Yeah, looks very natural. And what about this? And this is uh, edging also. Um, it comes from the same place as the natural flagstone did. Um, it. It's also used for edging, but as you can see, there's there's a lot more unity. It's a little more uniform than the other. Yes, it is. Well, one of the problems I have on my acreage is uh, landscaping around trees. Do you have any ideas on how to do that? Oh, you betcha. All right. You betcha. Okay, well, what I've done here is uh, the cedar trees. We really like the cedar trees because uh, wildlife, they attract right. wildlife, and we didn't want to cut them down. Um, but I was getting poked and prodded when I was mowing around them. Yeah, so, they're pretty low. Yeah, they are. So what I did was I took some uh, black vinyl edging. Uh, it's called Edge Pro Edging, and we've basically put a border out about as far as where the branches come to, and then we filled it in uh, with hostas. Are there other areas on your acreage where you've done some landscaping? Oh, yeah. You can use, you can use boulders for edging. Uh, you can use some of the stuff that we showed you earlier, the 4x4 four four edging. Any of that type of stuff will do the same thing that we've done. Already. All right. Can we go look at some other places? Uh, yes. Uh, we'll go, let's go to the back. That's my favorite place. It's, uh, there's some trails back there, and it's pretty much all natural. I think you'll like it. Okay, great. Thanks. Mike, you have a great place here. Thank you very much. I see you've built a trail. Tell me a little about that. Uh, well, the trail was to get me to the back of the property, right. which uh, is really where I belong. This is, this is the place that I like to be back here. Um, it gets me away when I get home from work. Uh, it's nice. It's peaceful. It's quiet. And it's probably my favorite place to be. How did you here. build the trail? Um, I basically built the trail with a pair of clippers okay. and an old snapper 20-inch lawnmower. How long did that take you? Uh, I still, I'm still working on it. So uh, the trails seem like they never end. Uh, um, I'll come back here and do 10 feet here, 15 feet there, and uh, you know, you just never know where it's going to take yeah. you. How so. did you figure out where to put the trail? Uh, I was walking down the hill back over here one day, and I just kind of saw like a natural 
trail going that way. I didn't know if it was a deer trail or a rabbit trail, or but something something was definitely walking around back here. So uh, I thought, well, wouldn't that be neat if I could make my trail back there so that I could get back there and look around and and uh, see some wildlife and see maybe find out what it was that was making that trail. So. And what's the maintenance involved with the trail? Um, little or no maintenance on the trail. That's probably the best thing about um, putting in a trail. You're not clearing all the land out so that you have to spend a lot of time mowing it. You're basically taking a maybe four or five foot wide strip and, and uh, keeping it mowed short so you keep the weeds out and, uh, and it gets you back out to where you can see all your property. Have you seen a lot of wildlife back here? Yes, I have. I've seen deer. I've seen fox. Um, I'm a big bird watcher. Right. So uh, I come back here during the spring migration. I can see just about any kind of bird you could imagine back here. Um, and, I, and I spend a lot of time doing that. And I, I try to do it every day. It, I try to take that walk every day. Sounds really relaxing. I see you have a fire pit back here and a yeah, yeah. picnic table. Yep, this is also you must a, have some uh, parties. Yep, this is a party place back here. Uh, and everybody seems to like it. I mean, it's, it's something about, I guess, getting away. And it's not just for me, but for uh, members of my family. My wife, my son, we'll all go for walks back here. And it never fails, but we end up right here and right we, back here we could be here 15 minutes we could be here for two hours you, you just you never know mike thanks for sharing your place with us it's beautiful thank you very much i appreciate the opportunity